Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survive channel. So what we'll be doing today is I'll be showing the Wubin X series. Uh, so basically my collection here, and then I'll also be showing you a new limited edition color basically that they have. And so we'll be getting to that here just a bit. So first of all, this case came with the Wubin X3. So when they sent this, uh, the Wubin X3 basically as a beta test, uh, it came with this really big, nice uh, organizer from Wubin. And so they have the separate compartments and you can see up top also it has uh, more kind of organizing space. So really cool, uh, they sent that with the X3. All right, so uh, as you can see, just from looking up top, uh, my collection is gonna be mostly white, but I wanna go through, show you each of the X series, uh, kind of just run down some of the basic uh, specs about it, and then we'll be getting into this limited edition uh, color over here. All right, so we'll start with the first one, the X0. So this was uh, really unique. I remember when they first sent this to me, uh, I was really pleased just with the, the uniqueness of it. Well, it's not the most practical with it being really thick, you know, uh, chunky. You really couldn't put it in your pocket comfortably. Um, doesn't really fit really well into a lot of EDC bags, but I still, I really liked it. And you can see in the back here on the magnet that this has gotten a lot of use. Um, and so I like the design just because it's not the standard uh, black tube. So, so many of the EDC flashlights, they're great. They have great specs and stuff, but it's just simply a black tube and it's so boring. Whereas this with the white, with these blue accents on it and stuff, um, it is really aesthetically pleasing to me. So this has a max output of 1,100 lumens. Up top it has the charging port and the button, kind of the two in one. Um, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty bright flashlight. I was really pleased with that. So this costs $69 um, as it is in the white. If you get it in the black, uh, it is a bit cheaper. And they do have some other colors, um, some of the wild, like blue and green and other stuff. And those of course will cost more. So you check out the website to see those other color options that they have. Or then the next one was a major leap compared to the X0. They jumped to the X1 and this thing's a beast. I mean, it's large, um, it's not extremely bulky, but at the same time, you know, it's it's quite hefty. Um, I like the design again. It's like, like I said on the X0, it's not your standard just black tube. Um, it's got a really interesting rectangular shape. I love the white. Um, actually, I wanted my entire collection to be white. Unfortunately, the X3, um, it was a beta testing, and so I didn't have an option for the colors on it. But anyways, some really unique uh, features about this is it has 12,000 lumens, which is super bright, I mean like insanely bright, uh, kind of like blinding bright. And then uh, to kind of cope with all the heat that that generates, these three LED lights, uh, has a built-in fan. I don't know if you can see right there in the video. You have a fan right there, and some coolant uh, over here, basically some, uh, yeah, basically. The, the air blows over that to kind of help keep the heat down on this. And so I really like that. It does not have a pocket clip um, built in, uh, but I think they, they did have like a like a bike mount or something you could buy separately. Um, it did come with a really nice uh, belt pouch though, but no pocket clip on it. So really big beast. Uh, this white one costs $199. They did have one also in black um, color and it's a bit uh, cheaper. I don't remember the exact price right now. So you have the charging port over here, type C and then you have your, your button right there. All right, and then so then the X2, seems like they decided to do kind of like an in-between uh, between the X0 and the X1, and it almost looks like they just shrunk the X1 down and made the X2 a lot of uh, similar design to it um, between the two, and they've added the pocket clip. That's a really nice pocket clip, a uh, really sturdy pocket clip, which I like. One of the issues I had with the X0 was that the titanium pocket clip uh, was not very uh, sturdy, um, in my opinion at least. So anyways, a really great. I love the size. Um, I think they really did a good job. Um, it fits, fits perfectly in your hand. Uh, very, again, aesthetically pleasant to me. Um, I like the color. I like the shape, all of that. It's a max output of 2,500 lumens. And so that's, a, that's really good. Um, you know, it's enough where it's like bright enough when you need like lots of light, you have the light. But at the same time, you're not be putting off a whole bunch of heat and taking a bunch of power with the 12,000 lumens. Um, this also does come in some different colors. They have black, which is slightly cheaper than the white one, and they have some other limited edition colors, which I'll be showing you one of those uh, over here, here in a bit. So anyways, um, out of all of them, this is probably one of my favorite, uh, just because it's so practical in size. Uh, it fits really well uh, in a, basically in a, in a like an EDC pack or wherever else. One of the things they did change from the X1 is they went back to kind of the X0 style for the um, the button, it also doubles as a charging port cover. So you can see right here the, uh, the USB Type-C charging port. It's also the, the button 
And so really cool. So this flashlight costs $118 uh, in the white. Like I said, though, the black is cheaper and some of these limited edition colors are gonna be um, significantly more expensive. All right, so moving on then to their latest edition, the X3. Now, like I said, mine is a beta uh, basically version. So the new version comes with a, an aluminum box. Uh, it's a wireless charging box basically. Well, there's an option also to get a charging stand if you don't want a charging box. And so what makes that really unique is that the actual flashlight itself does not have any charging ports on it. And so it's only charged wirelessly uh, in the box. Or actually, I even showed when I uh, reviewed this separately, you can actually charge this uh, from your phone. And so if your phone supports uh, basically uh, wireless charging or maybe power sharing, whatever you call it, you can place this on your, the back of your phone and it'll start charging it. So another really cool feature about this is that the head swivel is 180 degrees. And so it has a max output of 700 lumens. And that's if you have the, uh, the one white LED and the one red LED. Uh, if you get double white LEDs, then I think it brings up to like 1200 or so. I don't remember exactly. But anyways, I have the, I have the white and the red. The red light is also really bright. Um, and so anyways, on the back, they have the magnet. And so kind of going back to the original X0 uh, design to where you could actually attach this to a wall or any metallic surface uh, if you wanted. And then with this head swiveling, you can change, you can direct the light to where you need it. Um, it actually even works like in halfway. And so if you had it like, you know, in between, I'm not sure why you'd want to, but it works. And so the great thing about that is, you know, some, sometimes I want a flash that points forward. And sometimes I want a flashlight that I can set on the table and to illuminate what I'm working on. And so uh, I really like that about this flashlight, uh, really unique. The body is luminous. It does also have some, some lights in there. Uh, as you saw right there, the blue lights. And it's cool, you can turn that off if you don't want them. Right on the back, it also has a really nice pocket clip. Again, uh, same design kind of as the, um, the X2. And so I like that. It's a really nice, uh, sturdy pocket clip on there. And so really, all together as an EDC flashlight, this makes, uh, it covers all the basics. You get the magnet, you get the, the pocket clip, the swiveling head, um, just all that. I think it makes it really cool for a flashlight. But still, between the two, between the X2 and the X3, um, it's a hard choice. Um, but I'm, I'm probably leaning more towards the X2. I like the extra lumens um, and kind of a more simple design on it. All right, so that is the X3. Um, this is available also in white, which really would have been perfect for my collection. Um, basically, only that, that changes in the white is actually the, the head changes and the body stays the same, um, kind of this semi-transparent luminous. Uh, I think the pocket clip might be white. I'm not sure, but anyways, probably not because this is black too. So anyways, that is the X3, um, and it costs $109 if you get it with the aluminum charging case. Um, it's a bit cheaper if you get it with the charging stand instead of the, the charging case. All right, and then the last I'll be showing you now is the, uh, the limited edition X2. So this is, uh, some of the differences between this and the original X2 is that the original X2 has an all aluminum body. Whereas this is all titanium. And so um, it feels like maybe just slightly heavier, um, but not with it being titanium, it's not significantly heavier. Um, but it does give it a much more premium feel. Uh, with it being titanium, uh, the pocket clip matches, whereas on the original one, you can see it's black, which actually looks really great on the white. Um, but anyways, it's all matching. Uh, yeah, the titanium pocket clip, nice and stiff uh, on that. And I was kind of concerned uh, when they sent this to me that the, the pattern might be a bit gimmicky because of all of the, these grooves and cutouts and stuff, I expected there would be like uh, certain sections that simply did not get etched, because I'm assuming this is like a laser etched pattern. Uh, they call this basically blue geometry. Um, but in every, you see every section of it, the pattern looks really great. And so the, they did a really great job anodizing this flashlight. Um, I think it looks really stunning. Um, again, you know, I love the white and black look, you know, kind of what I have here. But this is definitely something different. Um, this pattern here with it being all titanium and have this pattern cost $308. And so significantly more than uh, the standard aluminum one. But nonetheless, uh, it definitely makes it very unique um, and really stands out. And so pretty cool in that. They also do have some other colors, uh, some other basically uh, anodized colors, different patterns and stuff. So some green, uh, some other wild colors out there. And so and also the prices do vary between the colors uh, that they have. So you could go to their website and check out the different colors if you're interested in that. So anyways, um, also in the box, it had a red diffuser, 
And so basically, if you want a red light, uh, you just put that diffuser on there and it'll change the color like that. So that's pretty cool. The rest of the specs are basically identical to the X2. So it has a 2,500 lumens, um, got the three LEDs and all of that. The charging port is exactly the same. Underneath this button right here, you have the uh, Type-C. And the charging cable again here comes as a lanyard, which is really cool. Um, I really usually don't like lanyards, but I, I'm pretty pleased with how Ruben is doing this, where they've taken the lanyard, which you know, generally is something that I just toss, and they've turned it into the charging cable. And so on this one, you see you have the, the typical USB, uh, basically type A, and it goes down to a type C for charging that. And so it's a really cool way of stowing uh, the, the charging cable. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. All right, so anyways, that is all for uh, my Movement X series collection here. And so you got the all white ones and then this limited edition one and the Movement X3 in the black. Um, so if you'd like to check these out, um, I do have a discount code for um, all of you, my subscribers. And so that is just fit to survive just as uh, on my channel. Um, I'll include it down in the description so you guys can basically copy and paste that if you'd like. Um, and so I'll have links to all of this. Uh, so go down and check it out if you're interested. And let me know which one of these you like best. Uh, if you like the X0, the X1 being massive and bright, or the uh, kind of ideal size of the X2, or the more innovative X3, or the limited edition uh, X2. Anyways, which one you would like uh, to see, maybe which one you would carry, and so on. And anyways, uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.